Let's briefly talk about ad scheduling. Remember that there's two core component things here. Either showing ads or not showing ads. That's that binary black and white. Am I showing ads or not? Um, if I'm only open during certain times of the, of the day, you might want to only show ads. If you're, if you're running a campaign that's a call only campaign or a campaign that's generating phone calls for a specific or for a specific service and you only service that, um, you only, you only service customers in that area or location, depending on how your campaign is broken out. You could choose to run, run your ads um, throughout the entire day or throughout or, or for certain hours. A lot of students and a lot of clients have asked me, well, what do you think? You know, we, should we run ads all day or should we run ads uh, during certain hours? Well, this, that leads me to the second fundamental part of ad scheduling or what we call day parting, which is making bid adjustments. The same we want to make, we, we make bid adjustments based on device or based on demographic group, we can make bid adjustments based on day of the week or hour of the day, right? And that's a really, really key part to optimizing a Google Ads campaign successfully because you'll usually see different performance um, metrics at different times of the day, whether you're an e-commerce site or a service business. I would say that in most cases, it's worthwhile to at least bid on good traffic throughout the day. You might say, well, at one o'clock in the morning, no one's gonna sign up for my service or buy my product. True, but at one o'clock in the morning, you're showing an ad to somebody who actually searched for what you offer, right? So if it's a good keyword, it's a good search term, I typically don't see a good argument to not at least bid, maybe bid a little bit less. So you could create hour of the day bid adjustments during certain segments of time, chunks of time, to decrease the aggressiveness of your bid or even increase the aggressiveness of your bid if it's during peak hours or during time where you know sales are more likely to occur. And again, that has to come from your previous data. That has to come from your own historic analysis, from your own understanding of your own business. Uh, but quite simply, to add a schedule, you'll go in here, and by default, Google sets these ads to run 24-7. And I think that's a typically, that, that is a good default, because you do want to learn how ads are performing at different hours of the day. Like, again, if you're just starting off with a campaign, it's really important. If you're looking back to see how campaigns have performed during, during different days or different times of the week, that's when you go into those reports. Remember I showed you the reports um, inside your Google Ads dashboard, where you could break out and segment hour of the day, day of the week week of the month, et cetera, uh, even quarter. So to create a custom schedule, I could change all days to Mondays and Fridays, and I might say Mondays and Fridays, we're only gonna run ads, we're a local service business, and I only want calls between nine and two, let's see, nine and uh, 2 p.m., which is four o'clock, 14 o'clock. Um, and I could add, let's say, if I wanna also do Saturdays, I could do Saturdays between, um, Saturdays maybe between, 11 and one, let's say. So that'll be 13. So I might wanna do something like that. So I could have separate, and I could add as many schedules as I want. Um, and I recommend playing around with this because over time, you're definitely gonna to wanna to start creating some interesting and cool bit adjustments. I wanna also show you one more quick thing, which is a tool called Optimizer. And you're gonna see more of Optimizer later on. It's an invaluable tool. Frederick Valleys, who is the CEO of Optimizer, is somebody who I've collaborated with in the past. I write for his blog. He's a fantastic, fantastic guy. I see him at events. But anyway, he has this really cool tool called Hour of the Week Analysis. And Optimizer is by far my favorite PPC software. And I don't use much of them, like the big ones. I don't really like them. Um, but this is actually really, really insightful. And, and, and Optimizer actually gives you some really practical tools. So for example, they give you the Hour of the Week Analysis. And they give you this really cool color-coded way I could, I could over here, select the date range I wanna look at. So let's say I wanna look at the last four weeks. I could choose which networks I wanna analyze, devices I wanna analyze, and which campaigns I wanna analyze. But say I'm analyzing my account. So first at the top, I see a chart that charts throughout Sunday through Sunday. Over here, impressions and clicks by default. I could change, I could look, you know, let's say impressions versus um, conversions, for example. So we'll see uh, conversions, and maybe I don't want to have a second one. I can just go up and click none. Or actually, no, I have to have the first one. I could do none over here, and I can do conversions. And I can see how my conversions have changed and been affected at different hours of the day. And I can come down here into this chart and say, oh, look, 8 to 12 p.m. and 12 to 4 p.m. are the two four-hour chunks of time that are clearly the highest volume for conversions. And I could track conversions versus, let's say, uh, clicks. And I'm seeing that same sort of trend. So I'm seeing conversions and clicks are the best between 8 and 8 a.m. and 4 p.m. And I can see we have really low volume, 8 p.m. to 12 a.m., 12 a.m. to 4 a.m. because it's showing you know, red. 
And I could start making decisions. I could say, well, why are my clicks low? Are, is it because I'm bidding really conservatively? Or is it because I'm not bidding aggressively enough? Or is it because the volume is much less? And in this case, the answer is because the volume of searches for this product that we're advertising is much lower during those hours of the day. But let's say you had other competitors during certain hours that were getting more aggressive. This would show you that. And then you would know if I wanna capture the market share that I need, I need, to, I need to increase my bids. And actually with Optimizer, you could actually make those bid adjustments from Optimizer and it sends that data back into Google Ads. We don't need to cover that now because we're still setting up our first campaign. But the idea is, you wanna understand scheduling, not just as a black and white, I'm not advertising over the middle of the night, I'm advertising there today. No, you could really conceptualize every, in my opinion, I would start with four hours. So six chunks of four hours, that makes up a day, right? And I would look at every day of the week in six chunks of four hour um, brackets and start there. And once you have your campaign set up in that way, you'll be able to analyze performance based on any of these different brackets and make necessary bid adjustments. So let me show you quickly what a scheduling report looks like inside a live Google Ads account. So here we are in a live account under ad schedule in that section, and we're seeing a color-coded version. This is actually a relatively new tool from Google that shows me some interesting, cool uh, ways to break down and visualize how I'm setting up my schedule. So if I, if I hover over any given um, bar on this chart, I see Mondays is 12 to 4 p.m. I have a plus 50% bid adjustment. If it's blue, that means I am actually advertising during that time. If it's not, if it's clear or if it's white, transparent, I'm not advertising during that time. And if you see something yellow, it means that there's some sort of bid adjustment being applied. So from 12 a.m. to 4 p.m., I have a plus 50% bid adjustment, quite aggressive. And I see the amount of clicks I've gotten during that time period. I could then hover over to Wednesdays, 4 p.m. to 12 a.m., and I could see the amount of clicks, and I could see that there's no bid adjustment applied. And just down below is the breakdown of that actual chart. And this is where I could actually edit these bid adjustments. If I wanted to edit my ad schedule completely, I could click the edit button. And over here, I could start making some edits. So we could see here that Mondays through Fridays, we're bidding all day. We're bidding from zero to 16 and then from 16 to zero, which is the whole day. And I did it. we did it this way so we could add that 50% bid adjustment where we wanted to, to add it. But say we were gonna bid from 16 only to 17. And I'm gonna find, or let's say 18 and click save, we're gonna see the visualization change a little bit. So Mondays through Fridays, we're now only bidding to 4 p.m. with a bid adjustment, and the dark blue means it has activity, and then if it um, has just an outline, it means there have been no clicks so far. Mondays 4 to 6 p.m., we're bidding with no adjustment, and then 6 p.m. and onwards, there's nothing there. So I'm gonna go back and edit that schedule, because that's not what we want to do. We want to do to zero, 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 and I can't type it in, but, oh. Zero, 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 great and save, and it's gonna go back to how we had it before. So that's a really cool way to set that up. And, and from this report, I could actually adjust those bid adjustments. So Sunday all day, um, we see that there's no bid adjustment here. So say I were to say, you know, we are not doing well on Sundays, we need to decrease budget. I'm gonna decrease by 20% on Sundays. And I click save, and we'll see that reflected up above, and we see a yellow bar, which means that there's a bid adjustment applied, and if I hover over it, I see that it's now negative 20%. So I'm just gonna remove that by leaving it blank, or if I just leave it blank, I click save, it'll be nothing. I could also look at my day and hour, day and hour reports. We've seen these before, so if I go over to day, I see the breakdown of metrics by day of the week, and I could download this data and put it into Excel and play with it as I'd like and change my date range. I could look at this by hour of day, so 3 to 4 p.m., 1 to 2 p.m., if I wanna see how many clicks, where I'm getting the most clicks, where I'm getting the most conversions, so 12 to 1 p.m. for this account, we're getting the most conversions, followed by 11 p.m. to 12, followed by 3 p.m. to 4 p.m. Um, our cost per conversion, are our conversions costing us different amounts of time, different amounts based on the different time of the day, um, or a different day of the week, so it's really, really, really cool reports. Again, just to reiterate, don't think of your scheduling. Uh, don't think of your scheduling just as running or not running. Think of your scheduling as a constantly changing dynamic in your account. You could always be adjusting and decreasing bids and aggressiveness. My recommendation to you is to run your ads 24/7, unless you have a specific compelling reason not to. If no one's going to be answering the phones and your advertising spend will be less profitable overnight, that's not a reason to not. That's not a reason to cut out the spend. It might just be a reason to to bid much much less per click during those overnight hours. And you do that by how I showed you, going into your ad schedule and creating those ad schedules so you could then make a negative 60%, negative 70% bid adjustment for overnight hours. When you know that the money being spent on people coming to your site 
is not as profitable because it's not going to be serviced as quickly. And then, you know, when people are, when you have your sales team there or when you're around or when people are more likely to buy, you then increase your bids to get more aggressive throughout the day. You don't necessarily have to cut it off. So that is um, a quick word about scheduling in a nutshell, a quick peek into Optimizer. It gets a lot more complex when you're dealing with different types of campaigns. And again, every campaign could have its own schedule. Remember that. We're not setting this up for your entire account. You might have a hundred campaigns and every single campaign could have its entirely own schedule and its entirely own set of bid adjustments, right? So it's infinite amounts of different ways you, this could play out in your own account, depending on how you structure your campaigns and all the different elements you optimize. So that's scheduling. I look forward to seeing you in the next lecture where we're going to do a brief discussion about device type. I look forward to seeing you guys very soon in the very next lecture.